Hi, intro students. We are going to have class online this afternoon. Um, you normally should have blocked off from 12.30 to 3.10 um, for intro to education. And so you can um, go to a computer lab, you can go to the library, you can do it in your room, um, but you need to complete the module that we can see down here on our Canvas site um, before 3.30 this afternoon. So let's look at the different tasks that I need for you to work on today. Um, you can see that everything is due before 3.30 this afternoon. Um, there's no reason why anyone should not get that done. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to watch this video, and it's linked there, um, discussing what hidden curriculum is. Um, it's a really quick video, but you're going to watch that video, and then you're going to partake in the curriculum discussion on Canvas. And you're going to write your initial comment, and then you are going to respond back to two other people. Because this is the first um, assignment for the day, everyone should have their initial comments down by one o'clock easy and then um, before you finish you can go ahead and put back um, your two comments to your peers but you're going to submit and you're going to partake in that conversation right here you're going to answer the question what are hidden curriculums how have you experienced hidden curriculum in elementary school and high school and at the college level and then also, how do you plan on addressing hidden curriculums in your future classroom? So you're going to make that initial post. You can see it is worth five points, um, but you're going to make that initial post without seeing anyone else's post. Once you have submitted your initial thoughts, then you can see everybody else's thoughts. So that's where you're going to do that. Let's go back to the task list to see what we're doing for our second thing here. Um, then you are going to watch this video and you're just going to simply list three things that you learned from the video on the discussion board. You don't have to go back and respond to people like you did um, this first one, but right here you can see the videos linked also. All you're going to do is submit one, two, three, three things that you learned from this video. And then the third thing that we're going to do, you can see right here, it says next, you're going to visit Ohio Learning Standards and explore and read and reflect over um, this page. It's the 101 that this um, group has put out. Read that whole thing. And then 201, really simple reading, um, very short. Read those two things. And then in one paragraph on a document that you're going to submit, you're going to tell me what is the difference between Common Core and Ohio Learning Standards. Second paragraph, one full paragraph, you're going to tell me what is the difference between a standard and curriculum. And then your last three paragraphs are going to be based off of um, this link to the Ohio Learning Standards. You're going to scroll down here and find what you could potentially be teaching in the future. Everyone should choose English language arts, math, science, social studies. Um, those are the um, things you get to choose from. Do not choose physical education because we're not license, licensing you in physical education or fine arts or financial literacy. You need to choose English language arts to explore math, science, or social studies. If we go back, we can see that it tells us that it wants us to um, describe how the standards are organized, what they include, and what are the keywords that are used in this document. You only need to explore one of those subject types. And then what you notice moving into your future classroom. That's three paragraphs. How they're organized is one, what they include, and keywords is the second one. And then what you notice moving into your future classroom is your third paragraph. So this document that you are submitting is one, two, three, four, five paragraphs. And you are going to submit that right here. Your chapter quotes for this chapter should have already been submitted last night by midnight right here. If you haven't done that yet, I highly encourage you to do that just for um, late credit, but a 90% is way better than a zero. If you have any questions, please let me know. My cell phone number is 804-683-3313. Text me, call me, email me, but all of this needs to be completed by 3.30 and, and it really shouldn't take you any more than an hour and a half. Um, 
so you should be able to easily complete those tasks. If you need anything, please let me know, and I will see you guys next week.